Welcome. This tutorial will show you how to perform Bayesian model averaging or BMA with the statistical software R using the R package BMS. As an example, we'll reproduce some results from the well-known article by Fernandez Ley and Steele from 2001. And in order to follow this tutorial, you do not need to know anything about R. You're just supposed to have understood this article. Note that this tutorial exists as well in written form. Just go to this website here, bms.sugner.eu, click on Tutorials, and it's the first entry, and here you'll find pretty much of what I'm gonna tell you over the next 10 minutes. Moreover, there is a link to the working paper by Fernandez Ley and Steele, and it's called Model Uncertainty in Cross-Country Growth Regressions. In this paper, they discuss some theoretical considerations on BMA, in particular how they're going to use an MCMC sampler to sample through the 2 trillion model combinations uh, in their dataset, and that they will use a so-called Zellner's G prior on the coefficients and a uniform model prior. With this, they obtain the results, mainly posterior inclusion probabilities for the different variables and densities of the posterior coefficients. Now let's see how to reproduce this in R. Just open your R console and install the package BMS first. From whatever operating system, just type the command install.packages with parentheses then R will come up with a dialog asking for your location. I'm in Belgium, so I use this one. And then R will list all available packages on CRAN, the R repository. Scroll down until you'll see BMS, select it and press enter. It will then download and install. The package is installed now, but it still has to be loaded to the current R session with the command library. So just type library, lowercase, and then uppercase BMS in parentheses. Be careful here with low and uppercases. This makes all the BMF functions available to the R workspace. For instance, the help functions, the help page for the entire package may be obtained by the question mark, and then BMS in capital letters. Shows a description that spells out that the most important function is BMS. BMS is the function to perform Bayesian model averaging, but before we can use it, we need to have some data first. Luckily, the Fernandez Lay and Steel dataset is already built into the package and can be loaded with the command data, loading the dataset datafls, which puts a variable named datafls in the R workspace. Now let's look up the help index for the function BMS with a question mark and lowercase BMS. The help site details the usage, the function arguments and some examples at the end. Let's try out our example immediately. Type in mfls, that's the variable where we want to save our results, equals bms, that's the function, and data fls, that's the variables, or the data, and then we type burn equals 100,000, that's 100,000 burn-in rows, a bit less than used in the paper, and iter equals 200,000, that's 200,000 subsequent iterations that are accounted for in posterior statistics and that's much less than in the paper, actually it should be a few millions, but to save time we are doing away with uh, these few here. Moreover we type g equals rick m prior equals uniform mcmc equals bd and n model equals 2000. Press enter. Now 
The G is the specification of the G, Selnus G prior. According to the help pages, that's the one used by Fernandez Lee and Steele. See it here. Then M prior is the model prior, which is uniform, as in the paper. The MCMC parameter specifies the MCMC sampler. BD is the one that has been used by Fernandez Lay and Steele. And finally, N model is the number of best models to be stored. So the sampler walks through the model space and uh, does some aggregate statistics, but in addition, it saves the 2000 best models it encounters. And best means by posterior model probability. Now let's look up the results. It took about one minute to compute this 300,000 rows. We have posterior inclusion probabilities and some summary statistics. In particular, we see the MCMC sampler accepted about 52,000 models during its walk through the model space. Now let's look up the posterior inclusion probabilities and how they compare to the paper. For that type, Coef for coefficient, MFLS, that's our BMA variable, and then type exact equals true, parenthesis closed and enter. The exact equals true means we are basing our posterior inclusion probabilities on the exact analytical likelihoods of the models. And we see here the GDP or initial GDP is a 100% PRP as in the paper. Catholic has about 9%, which is a bit less than in the paper. But that's related to the few iterations we've done. Um, if we do a bigger trial, then it should be closer to what is found in the paper. Now let us produce the posterior coefficient density plots just as the images in the paper. We start with initial GDP and plot it with the command density, parenthesis, MFLS, it's our BMA results, and then the variable name of initial GDP was GDP60. Enter. This produces a plot that is quite similar to the one in the paper. If we compare, the range is about the same. It ranges from 0, 0, 0,05 down to 0, 0,25 on the negative side, of course. If we compare the Catholic coefficient in contrast, this one is less unimodal and its posterior inclusion probability is far smaller. So let's just produce a plot that is quite similar to this one with the posterior inclusion probability on top. For this we use the command density MFLS and the variable name which is Catholic and we specify some additional things to, to be plotted M for the median line, L for a legend, Z for a zero line and P for the posterior inclusion probability which produces a plot like this. And if we compare the range here, it's distributed around zero and quite similar to what is in the paper. With this information, you should be able to reproduce the figures and the numbers in the paper by Fernandes Lee and Steele. Note that our results still differ from the paper, mainly because we did a quite short and brief run. Actually, you should include more iterations and many more best models to be saved, which takes a bit more time. So if you might try for half an hour or so, then you should come up with results that are very close to the ones in the paper. For more information on reproducing Fernandes Lane and Steel, just go to the website bms.sugner.eu and uh, there you also will find information on how to get data into R from other applications such as, such as Excel and get the results back out again. Thank you for your attention.